We begin this morning with what is going on in terms of COVID cases, and that because, that's because yesterday felt once again like an inflection point, a turning point, an important day in this pandemic. And that's because we seem to be getting an acceleration of case counts here in the United States, according to data collected um, from the CDC or reported by the New York Times and other outlets. The two week change in COVID cases in the United States is 31 percent, a 31 percent increase with the daily average now hovering around 120,000 of new cases being reported. And scientists are saying that Omicron in the United States could soon overtake Delta because of its easy transmissibility. Uh, nationally, the share of cases caused by Omicron has risen to 2.9% from 0.4%. Uh, that has happened in just a week's time. That, again, according to the CDC, and it's higher in some areas of the country. Of course, some of the cases that we're seeing, the new cases we're seeing, we don't know exactly which types of cases they are. In New York City specifically, which of course has been a locus for the virus at different points along the pandemic, test positivity has been doubling over the past three days. That's according to a health advisor to the mayor. As of December 12th, the positivity rate among tests, 7.8%, up from just 3.9% on December 9th. So, so that is what we're seeing here. And we heard from President Biden yesterday, who was warning once again that this spike that we're seeing is going to be especially acute for the unvaccinated. We are looking at a winter of severe illness and death for unvaccinated, for themselves, their families, and the hospital if they'll soon overwhelm. But there's good news. If you're vaccinated, you have your booster shot, you're protected from severe illness and death. And on that point, in terms of the number of vaccinations here in the United States, 72% of all Americans have had at least one dose. 61% are considered fully vaccinated here. And then you can see the numbers are much higher for those who are 65 and older. And they're also higher, interestingly, if you include uh, just ages 12 and up. So in other words, younger people, either those who are not eligible yet for the vaccine or those who have just become eligible, uh, younger kids, uh, their rate is lower as one might expect. Um, Brian Sazi, I want to talk about some of the company reactions, but just quickly, I want to mention you and I on an anecdotal basis have been talking a lot about this as well. Just the fact that that people we know uh, have been getting COVID, even those who are fully vaccinated and events have been canceled. Yeah, you know, at first, your, your first blush is, uh, wow, maybe this is just a, a local news thing, but clearly it's definitely not. I mean, I was outside of Wall Street yesterday uh, and there was a mobile testing site set up about 35 people deep. Uh, and you drive by a lot of the uh, the, the health clinics here uh, in New York. Uh, you're seeing lines backed up outside, really long, long lines for people to get tested, uh, really taking me back to what we saw at the start of the pandemic. Now, of course, Julie, the positive thing is here, people, a lot of people uh, in this country are in fact vaccinated, but you do have to wonder about the, the potential market impact, uh, you know, as people are going back out there getting tested and potentially getting effect with the Omicron variant.